from hurricanes to border crossings. This is The Data Show. Show. My name is Chris Greco. For the next 30 minutes, we'll be talking about data, data, however you want to pronounce it, and how that that affects our lives, basically. So what we have is we have this data mining type stuff that's going on. And the media, and I, I keep saying this over and over and over again. I'm sorry about smacking my lips, by the way. Sorry about that. Let me get some water here. Sorry. I say it over and over and over again, but what happens is, is that the media loves to promote chaos. They love to promote division. They love to have a situation. And uh, I was just on a radio show last night. I used this phrase, and I think this is a perfect phrase to use with the media. They are a self-licking ice cream cone. What they do is, is they produce the chaos and then they put the reporters in the middle of the chaos to be able to report from the chaos. And they get their Pulitzer Prizes or whatever they get from that. Because that's what they want. That's what brings in viewers. That's what gets them more revenue. That's what gets a celebrity to be a celebrity. All these things have come about as a result of this media reporting of data. So the two areas we're going to hit today is going to be, one's going to be hurricanes. And the other one's going to be border crossings. So basically what's happened is, is that, you know, we just had a hurricane come through. Uh, not so much us. It kind of, it, it kind of goes off to the, went off to the east for us. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Hit Florida pretty well. Came up through Georgia. And uh, there was a, there was a comment made on one of the media outlets that this is the worst year for hurricanes. The hurricanes are getting worse, that it's getting really bad, that hurricanes are increasing, that it's just bad, that it's, I, you know, it's hard to believe. What I want to do is I want to show you the data. And the data I get is from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, NOAA.gov. So if you want to do that, if you want to take a look at that, it's really easy to do. And all you have to do is go to NOAA.gov and, and put in there hurricanes or whatever you want. And then you know we can we can make that work. So I mean it's it's nothing that when we talk about we talk about this. There's nothing here that you cannot get a hold of. There's nothing. I mean everybody sits back and says, "Geez, you get this stuff. How do I get it?" Same way I get it. I mean you 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 search out for it and you go and you you retrieve it. And that's how you do it. You collect data. Data is not something that just appears. You have to go out and search for it. You have to go out and take a look at it. You have to go out and, and understand it and how it works. And then you have, to, you have to put it in a display that everyone can understand. So what I did was I went out to NOAA. And I, I love the name, by the way. <laughs> that name is really good. So NOAA.gov, I went out there and I saw the hurricane, the hurricane area. And I, I put it into an uh, Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to show you that Excel spreadsheet. And here, right here, this is, you know, uh, I'm going to put this on YouTube also. And, I'm, uh, you know, YouTube better not say, oh, this is false news or fake news. This is from the data. I didn't make this up. So this is from, uh, they have what they call a Saphir Simpson category. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to show you this in a second. But the main thing I want to show you is this graph because I think this is, um, this is kind of blows your mind. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to actually move this into a bigger area so you can see it. So this is hurricanes. This is the year. Now it's each decade. Okay. So it's each decade moving around. So this is 1911, 1921, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81. It goes on and on and on. You can see it drops here. The reason, one of the reasons it drops is not, and a lot of people may say, oh, that's not a full year. That's not a full decade. Yes. It is. Yes, it is a full decade. This is 2011 to 2021. These are all full decades. So what they have is, is this is what you have. I mean, yes, 2021, you got an issue because 
you know, 2022, 2023, you know, that's, that, that's, that's not a full decade. These are all full decades. All of these are full decades. Look from, from 2011 to 2020, basically have 19, right? 18, 14, 15, 12, you know, and everyone sits there and says, oh, this is, you know, this is bad. Look at the major hurricanes. I mean, from, from seven to four, from seven to four. Uh, now you have different categories here. One, two, three, four, and five. So how many five categories do you have? Not many. Four categories. Not many, except 1941. You had a you had a ton in there. Uh, 1941. You had a ton here too. Uh, now, why 1941 or why that decade between 1941 and 1950? I don't know. I don't know why that is. I mean, I don't know whether that was just a weather anomaly or whatever else. But anybody that sits there and tells me, well, that was climate change. Okay, here it is. Well, climate change went down to three, two, four, 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 six, one. Come on. Come on. Really? So, I mean, this is a situation where you just got to take a look at it and say, you know, this is this, this is not cool. So that, that's, that's what you have here. So what are the different categories? Well, let's take a look at them. So we're going to take a look at the different categories here. Again, this is from NOAA, National Hurricane Center. <clears throat> NOAA does a great job of this, by the way great job. They have all kind of different analyses, everything else. So this is what the categories mean. These are considered major when they hit three. When they hit three, they're considered major. Devastating damage, extremely dangerous. You know, category one, you know, you're talking about 90 to 74 to 95 miles an hour, 96 to 110. Then you get above 120, then all of a sudden it gets to be bad. Then over 130, that gets to be bad. And then over 150, that gets to be bad. So, you know, you have one, two, three, four, and five. And this is what this is. This is, I mean, I, I have to admit, and I will admit that NOAA is very good, very, very good at their data. I mean, I like, I like the way that they do the data at NOAA. That's, it really is a very good area. So that's what's happening there. <clears throat> so let's go back and take a look at this again. So remember, anything above three is considered major, right? So you have 64, 28, and four, Whereas minor here, 1851 to 2022, you got 127. Average per decade, 7.4, 4.7. Look at this one, 17.7 per decade for all of them. And this one is 5.6 per decade, major. So major, anything, remember, anything above three, right? So that's, that's, and that's how they counted it too. See, five and one is six, one and zero is one, seven and zero, zero is seven. So that's how they counted this stuff. So this is what, this is what happens. Now, they even, uh, you can get it, by the way, you can get it here, um, uh, https uh, nhc.noaa.gov, pastec.shtml. So you can actually get it from, from the noaa.gov website. Now, when you have this, you sit back and you go, geez, what's going on here? Well, there is a caveat to this, and Noah's very good about putting caveats on this stuff, that anything before 1901 may not be correct. It may not be accurate. So anything 1901 or above should be more accurate. So let's take a look at this for a second. Let's say I did, and this was interesting because what I did was, I got rid of all the everything before 1901. I figured I would give it a transparency at this point where I'd sit there and say, okay, um, I will take a look at this and I will make it so that nobody can sit there and say, well, it's, it's before 1901, it's not accurate. Okay, this is 1901. So let's take, a, let's still take a look at this. Um, when I have this, uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to take a look at this. And I'm going to take, it's linear here. Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to take a look and make sure that I have this in really good. Uh, there we go. There we go. So what this is here is this is a linear regression line. You can take a look at this. It's not going up, folks. It's going down. It's going down. Now, people might say, well, of course, so last year is really not a year. And that's, you know, what, what are we going to do there? Like, fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will 
let me, let me take a look at this and I will go, I'll, I'll take it to only 2011. Okay. I'll take it only to 2011. Huh? Son of a gun. It's still going down, still going down overall. So, uh, you know, everyone sits there and tells me that, you know, uh, so what about the major ones? Well, the major ones, I'm going to go ahead and, and make this so you can see it also. Um, we'll go ahead and make this red here so everyone can see it. And we'll make sure we put this dash type to a line. And we'll make, you know, something, we'll put a compound type. We'll put, no, not a compound. We'll put a dash in here. We'll put this one. There we go. All right. So this is the major and linear. What do you see here, folks? Well, I see it going down in the major area and then leveling off here. Again, this is linear, but so it's average between all these, but I mean, take a look at it. I mean, uh, so I don't understand. The media is saying we are in calamity. We are in absolute calamity. Well, not from the data. I don't see it from the data. Now, maybe they know something I don't, which is doubtful very doubtful that some talking head on some news program knows more than I do about what's going on here. But hey, you know, we'll, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, they, you know, they might, they might know something or they might have a source somewhere that knows something, which I would, I would be more apt to believe. So this is what I'm, this is what I'm saying. This is NOAA.gov. I'm not making this data up. You can do it yourself. You can take a look at it. You can do it yourself. It's no big deal. Really, honestly, no big deal. So this is what this is what is happening here. So I wanted to make sure that you understood where the data came from. I wanted to make sure that you understood that you know these hurricanes as they're coming up. You know, yes, hurricanes are horrible. Hurricanes are horrible. I was in uh, I was in Maryland when uh, what was it uh, Isabel Isabel came through. That was horrible stuff. That was horrible stuff. Thank goodness we were based on a hill, so we weren't. Uh, it wasn't going to be a problem, but that had gum. It has a lot of flooding, a lot of, uh, I mean, a lot of damage. It was bad. It was really bad. So I, you know, even one hurricane is not something to just say, well, you had one less, so therefore there's no problem. It's, it's a problem. I mean, hurricanes, and the more that we develop, and, and I can remember there was a scientist on Heastack News, one of the, uh, one of the outlets, and, and he said, he said, yeah, he says, and he said, I, I, you know, I contribute climate change to 50% of this. I challenge that. I challenge you on that, Mr. Scientist. Show me the figures that shows that 50% of hurricanes are as a result of climate change. I want those figures. I want to know that. I want you to publish that. And I want to take a look at that because I don't believe that. There's no way that you can sit back and unless somebody has finally defined what climate change is. Because remember I talked about data in the beginning of this whole situation, beginning, uh, in the beginning of the, of the, uh, of the, uh, uh, the entire show. And I said the number one thing that has to occur before anything else within the data realm has got to be definitions. If you, I, I don't see one area, I don't see one definition of climate change out there. I see a bunch of thrown out stuff, you know, contrived stuff, but I don't see an honest to God, no kidding definition of climate change. Give me that definition. Give it to me. I want to know what it is. I want to know not, not just your definition. I want to know what the definition is. What the definition? And then, and then sit back and then I can sit back and I can say, okay, this is what the data shows in relationship to climate change. But don't sit there and keep using climate change like it's this, you know, beautiful and, and all glorious type of uh, definition that anybody can use. I can use climate change. It means totally different to me what it may mean to somebody else. Put out a definition so that all of us can sit back and say, this is the standard by which climate change is done. If you're telling me climate change is based upon the amount of CO2 that we flow, that we push into the air, I sit back and I go, so what is the standard? What, you know, everyone says, oh, zero. Don't give me that zero. What's the standard? What's the standard that we're hoping for? A cop, you know, is, is trying to say, oh, well, you know, we want zero by 2050 or we want zero by 2070. One, all this bull crap, you know, that they're going out 20 and 30 years. Guess what? You know, it's interesting how politicians will tell you that things can't get done. Well, I'll give you an example and, and we'll, we'll even go over that after, uh, you know, we're done here 
is um, talk about um, the negotiation of prescription drugs. Interestingly, the, the, this goes on until 2026. Let me think about this for a second. So 2026, 2020, that's after 2024, right? So that's after the presidential election. That's after the, um, the congressional elections. Huh. So in other words, what the politicians are saying is they're saying, oh, we're going to negotiate this stuff. Uh, but, you know, we're the ones that came up with it. And unless you reelect us, you are in danger of not having this stuff negotiated because the opposition party is going to be there and they're going to make sure that this stuff's not negotiated. So you got to, in order to make sure this negotiated, we have to go back in. See, so that's, that's how they, they push things. They kick the can down the road. 2026. See, then, then, you know, basically what are we talking about? The president is guaranteed a second term. Well, you know, if you don't elect me as president, how can you know that this stuff won't get, you know, just thrown aside and not negotiated because the opposition party is going to go in there? That's how things are done. It's not with data. It's with emotion. That's how the media works, too. Emotion. So basically, and and yeah, tell me, tell me they don't. Tell me that media actually informs. Tell me that media doesn't have this undercurrent of emotion no matter where they're reporting, no matter what they're reporting. It's undercurrent of emotion. And I love the talking heads whenever they talk, whenever they edit, uh, they, they put on an editorial after the, the, after the reporter is done. Instead of saying, thank you, Sam, to our next story, they have to say something. Oh, this is really a shame. Or wow, this is really, I, you know, I don't need to hear that. Move on to the next story. You know, shut up. Just move on to the next story. I don't need your, your feelings on what this reporter just reported on. They just reported on it. They don't need any additional information like what you feel. Move on to the next story. So it's, it's that type of thing. Sorry, I'm on my soapbox. So um, that's hurricanes. And now let's talk about um, border crossings. Very, you know, this is, this is really interesting when it comes to border crossings, I think, because, because we sit back and we go, uh, you know, okay, you know, what are border crossings? So the, um, what they have is they have what they call nationwide encounters. And you get this from, uh, this is the nationwide encounters. I mean, from from 2020 all the way through right nationwide encounters a lot of nationwide encounters you know and it's from title 8 and title 42 so there's a lot of them uh and basically apprehensions or expulsions and they they go through and then they go through title 8 or title 42 now what's title 42 title 42 was put in place during covid because it was a national security issue they're bringing in people that were sick and they didn't want that so they they expel they they ex they expelled them, you know, that's 2023. So as of, you know, fiscal year to date, still October, um, you know, it's funny because they have October, <laughs> they have October uh, 2023, which is like, yeah, there is no October 2023. So um, that's, that's interesting. I think it's a fiscal year to date. I think that's exactly what they're talking about here. So they have, uh, uh, what I did was I took this stuff and what I did was I put it into a pivot chart and I put the apprehensions uh, by year and then the grand total uh, by state. Uh, when you do a pivot chart, you can do all kinds of different things with this. Uh, title of authority. Uh, so I put a title of authority here that I can do. Um, in fact, what I can do is I can actually add a slicer so i can do title 42 title 8 um so that's interesting because it should show up that way um well i am not gonna sweat that oh i'm sorry i put that in the filter oops sorry we gotta include it all here And we are going to kill that and encounter type apprehensions. We can filter that apprehensions, expulsions, and immiscible. So I just put apprehensions at this point because that's that's basically what's going on there. Uh, I can put all the different states in, which is cool. So I'm going to take this off, and then I'm going to put title of authority, I'm going to as a slicer, do title eight, 
title 42, title 8, and that does not work. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take encounter type out. I'm going to put title of authority in. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take this slicer out. We're going to put this here. Oh, that's why I have no values. Whoop. Okay. Okay, here we go. So now um, I have the, the count of the title of authority. Uh, so this is title eight, and this is title 42 here. This is how many people were, were expunged, you know, expelled, whatever you want to call it, whenever you talk about these areas. So as you can see, it's, it doesn't look like it's all that bad. I mean, 10,000 people, you know, over, the, over, this, over this area. So um, I have a feeling, and it didn't say so in, the, in there, but over a period of an entire year, um, you know, over a period of this many years, I have this funny feeling that this is in thousands. So I think probably it's 10 million is probably what they're talking about here. But um, that mean that was, that was 214,000, which just seems to be a little bit much for me. So I don't think that's the case at all. I think this is all Title Eight and Title 42. I think is a small number um, when you talk about expulsions, you talk about all these areas. So, I mean, because we're talking here uh, 61,000 people that have been basically, uh, you know, expunged, uh, expelled, or uh, apprehended, or whatever else in that area between 2020 and 2023, fiscal year to date. So that's how many you have. So, I mean, if you talk about this fiscal year to date, there's 135 total in, um, in Alaska. They have 136 right now. So it doesn't look like it's going up. Well, you know, Arizona, it's not. And that's, that's a big one, right? Let's get down to Texas. Texas, they went down, but of course that's fiscal year to date, but they've gone up from 2,999 to 4,014, 4,414. So I have 15,000 just in one state. So, I mean, this is how you use data. This is how you get data. This is how you use it. It's, you know, at, at, and it kind of gives you at least a feel as for what's going on with this entire area. Because I think that's I think that's the important part of it all. So um, uh, this is where I got it, uh, cbp.gov nationwide encounters. So if you want to do that, this is what they call claims of fear, and you can see the claims of fear uh, from fiscal year 19 was 977 thousand of total claims of credible credible fear apprehensions and admissibles 146 thousand. So that's for people that were claiming you know f uh, credible fear. So I, I thought that was that was interesting, and then this is something that was brought up uh, in the uh, in Politico. Uh, was it Politico? Uh, it was NBC, where they were talking about, hey, you know, uh, number of undocumented immigrant crossings, illegal immigrant crossings at the southwest border, uh, 2022 top 2.76 million, breaking the previous annual record by more than 1 million, according to Customs and Borders Protection data. Now this was October 22nd, 2022. Then all of a sudden. You know, miracles happen. In July 18th, it says they plunged in June to the lowest level since President Joe Biden's first month in office. Illegal border crossings. At least Politico calls it for what it is, right? And you sit back and, you know, border officials apprehended 99,545. And the White House is touting this and you know, saying, oh, you know, this is, this is not good. So go to the data, you know, go to the data and, and see, what's, see what's happening with that whole thing. So I think that's really important from that. So that's that's basically what's going on with with the uh, uh, border crossings. I just wanted to throw that out there. Take a look at the data. Take a look at the data and find out for yourself what's going on. Don't sit back and let the media, you know, figure out where you're going with this. I think that's really really important. I mean, I can't tell you enough. Don't. It's not. Don't listen to the media. Go ahead and, and listen to them, and that's okay. But I'm telling you, Haystack News, get that. It's so much better. It's got so so many more you know international uh, choices. It's got you know DW. It's got Euronews, France 24. It's got all kind of different uh, media outlets, and they are so good. It's so much better, and they present data 
and you can you can go ahead and do that. In fact, one presents data on or stories and how some of the data is misused. Some of the data is actually false, you know, and, and they go through that and how that how that all works, which I thought it's called the cube. It's really, really good. So I highly recommend it. Not that, you know, I mean, you may not think my recommendations don't mean much, but basically that's what that's what that's what I watch and I really enjoy it and I get a lot out of it. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I really, really appreciate everyone watching it uh, and watching my uh, diatribes. I appreciate that too, even though it's, you know, probably shouldn't do them, but I, I enjoy it. So by all means, take a look, the things we looked at today, uh, which was hurricanes, go back, take a look at them, and the border crossings. And take a look for yourself and see, is that true what they're saying? Did it dip to the lowest level? You know, are all these things just media hype or are they true, right? Is it credible or is it contrived? That's that's the whole theme of this show. In the meantime, I tell you, as I tell everybody at every show, take care, stay, stay healthy, and by all means, check the data.